Hello and welcome to October 9th to your October 9th 2022 full moon reading with myself Thomas Janak. Now this moon is the hunter's moon and this is obviously called uh, traditionally because that was the time when um, you know hunter gatherers were actually you know wrapping up warm and um, did uh, go on hunts because the winter was uh, was um, approaching and so there was a lot of preparation um, in that time and that's why it was called the hunter's moon now believe me or not but halloween as it were is not as old <laughs> as the observation of the moon itself and halloween itself even though we're looking at the moon in october doesn't really come in to the uh, equation the reason why halloween or this moon is sort of you know um, more modern modernly speaking a lot of people say like oh yeah halloween moon that's because it appears that as, as though the moon is hanging lower and it can have more than just a little bit of an orange hue to it sometimes it can actually appear fully orange so you know halloween comes to mind ultimately there's nothing to be suspicious of um when it comes to the full moon and certainly nothing negative <clears throat> you know <coughs> so i personally don't expect any um werewolves to chase me um if they do then this will be the last video it was nice knowing you <laughs> right but let's be serious here for for a moment i just wanted to say that because every october when there's a full moon reading i get these comments what about halloween what about blah 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 blah, blah. i do not care this is not about history this is not about uh, um you know um how much i believe in all these things um i work shamanically and i have nothing against uh, uh, pagans or anything it's just it doesn't quite float my boat what that means is like i'm not gonna i'm not following any of these rituals um and while i'm not knocking them really has got nothing to do with um this full moon reading so um just so you know right here is why full moons are important obviously the moon governs your emotions and because on the full moon we have a fully illuminated moon which means things that i have that have been hidden can now be seen and so you are in the light and it is really important for you to to understand that you are in the light so you don't have to hide you're also at your strengths uh, because the light warms you so there's loads of stuff that is a symbolism and symbolically really important the other thing that's really important is that the moon in october which actually really becomes 100 percent full at uh, around 9 55 pm here in the uk but obviously you know 24 hours before 24 hours after sort of seems to be the period where we see the moon at its most prominent and its most beautiful and that's all good <clears throat> but the moon is in october october is the 10th month since we're not really counting the zero right so that leaves us with one one is the number of new beginnings and this moon the hunter's moon is in the sign of aries now <clears throat> aries is the very first sign of our zodiac which is the sign of literally kicking ass new beginnings therefore the energies that this brings is all about understanding that october by default is a very progressive month is the month for all of you and all of us to say like okay let's have a look what is it i want to do where is it um, that i feel um you know i belong at this point in time and it's not about reflecting all that much it's about you know taking the reins taking the bull by the horns if that makes sense and really going for things because that's what october is for and because the full moon of october is energetically speaking you know a really super high energy that's what we should be doing and it gets better because in uh in the shamanic origin story and i say shamanic because there's about over 30 different types of shamanism if that makes sense but 
while there are different stories or origin stories when it comes to how people got to different places, the story where we're coming from doesn't change no matter which angle of shamanism you're looking at. And the idea is, or the belief is, or maybe the knowledge is, that we come from the stars and we come from a place called the Pleiadians or the Pleiades. And the Pleiades, obviously, um, um, when you travel there uh, in journeys and, and, and the likes, they are seven foot tall, see-through beings. Well, they're you and me, they're us. And then we decided to come here. So we came here in a cloud in the shape of a whale, which means the whale, therefore, is seen as our first mother. You know, so I'm not going to quote the whole story here. The point is, we are from the Pleiadians and we have an energy connection to the Pleiadians or the Ple Pleiades. I can't pronounce that word. I'm apologizing. <coughs> point I'm making is, the full moon's on the 9th and on October the 12th, the moon sits right beneath the Pleiades, or the Pleiades, Pleiades. So the point is, we're going home, right? All our emotions, you know, whatever, you, whatever we feel, whatever you feel at this point in time, um, we're going home. So, you, so not only will we have a sense of belonging, right, on a full moon, and then obviously when, when we're under the, Ple the, the Pleiades um, on the 12th, that will really feel to all of us like, you know, I'm home, I, I belong somewhere, which means you can expect an energy boost that don't just that doesn't just happen on the ninth, sort of miraculously, but sustains itself, right? Um, and on the twelfth, literally, a couple of days after the full moon, you will therefore reach your peak when it comes to your determination, your sense of achievement that all will come in um, possibly after the full moon now the interesting thing about this that obviously as the moon uh, moves um, on the 14th of october it will actually be near mars and mars is the fiery uh, uh, energy so we can not only expect a massive energy boost um, from the 9th and then on the 12th it will reach its peak but on the 14th you will get another energy that tells you, well, you know, if this is October and you want to kick ass, why don't you do it now? <laughs> so the point is, for um, for all of us that, that are looking for strength, because of the way the moon moves um, this month in October, we are getting a lot of extra and additional energies that can help us all, right? And maybe I sounded a little negative in the beginning, I didn't mean to sound negative with regards to Halloween. All I'm saying is I'm getting all these reports and all these comments every year. And they're not always helpful to, to, to me. Uh, because shamanically speaking, uh, um, this is about what the moon stands for, if that makes sense. And, um, and I'm a big fan of, of, of the Halloween movies, if that makes sense. And, um, you know, I like horror movies and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not knocking it. I love October for all that stuff. <clears throat> but the full moon, while it is very much associated with all these things, beware the moon, um, it really doesn't quite make any sense um, when it comes to the moon, because the moon is not any negative force or doesn't help negativity to come to the forefront. We do know that the, that the moon affects people's emotions, and we also know um, that that some people do actually act up on the full moon, and obviously the moon, you know, is called Luna, and um, the term lunatic, right, comes from the name of the moon, saying that around the full moon, you know, uh, at the full moon, people are a bit crazy. So, right, be this as it may, the important thing is this month in October that we have the number one twice, which means we have the tenth month. We only need the, 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 the zero for mathematical purposes. So that's your first one. And then the moon is in Aries, uh, which is interesting because when you have the, the, the number one twice, right, um, we're having an extra and additional energy, which is really, really important. So what the guides are saying is, you know, uh, with an extra high energy, why not make that month yours? 
I hope that helped. Um, and remember, um, there will be a full moon reading every month. Um, and there will also be readings every month for, for your star sign. Uh, there will be, you know, 12, 12 uh, videos every month, um, one per sign. And then the additional uh, full moon uh, reading like this. And if there is anything really special or, or really that needs highlighting, like like um, eclipses or, or, or something along those lines or, or equinoxes, then obviously there will be a video about that too. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Please like, subscribe and share. And I see you all very soon.